My goldfish were swimming in a silent killer. If you see your goldfish doing this, they're screaming for help. They're at the surface, desperately gasping for air. I thought they were just being playful, but I was tragically wrong. My goldfish were gasping for their lives. Their crystal clear home had become a death trap, and I was clueless. The cause wasn't something I could see. The culprit was ammonia, and this test tube showed a horrifying dark green lethal poison. In this video, I'll show you how I uncovered this threat, the emergency steps I took to save my fish, and how you can stop this from happening in your tank. Just the day before, they were the picture of health vibrant and active, but the next morning the energy in the tank was gone. My goldfish were listless, some were gasping at the surface, others sat motionless at the bottom, fins clamped tight a classic sign of stress. I looked closer and my stomach sank, their gills were an inflamed, angry red, almost purple. My first thought was disease, but with no visible parasites or fungus, a nagging thought hit me. When was the last time I tested the water? I'll be honest, I'd gotten complacent, the tank looked clean, so I let my testing schedule slip a mistake I'll never make again. I grabbed my test kit, my hands shaking as I filled the vial and added the reagents. I didn't need to wait five minutes, the water in the vial instantly turned a deep, terrifying green. Ammonia should be zero, my test was literally off the charts. My fish weren't just swimming in water. They were swimming in colorless, odorless poison. It was a silent killer, suffocating them from the inside out. Seeing that dark green vial, I knew I had minutes, not hours. Ammonia poisoning burns a fish's gills and stops their blood from carrying oxygen. They were suffocating. I immediately took three critical steps to save them. First, an immediate large water change. Don't do a tiny 10% change. This is an emergency. I did a 50% water change, making sure to use a good water conditioner and matching the water temperature to avoid more shock. This is the fastest way to dilute the poison. Second, detoxify the remaining ammonia. Even after a 50% change, the level was still dangerous. I used a conditioner that specifically detoxifies ammonia. It doesn't remove it, but it converts it into a non-toxic form for 24 to 48 hours, buying you precious time. I dosed for the entire tank volume third, increase oxygen. Ammonia damages their gills, so their ability to breathe is compromised. I added an extra air stone and turned the pump to full blast. More surface agitation means more dissolved oxygen, which can be a lifesaver. If you don't have an air stone, lowering your water level so the filter splashes more will also work. My fish now had a fighting chance. If you're finding this information helpful, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel reach more people who might be facing this same hidden crisis. With the immediate danger over, I had to figure out where the ammonia came from to ensure this never happened again. This all comes down to the nitrogen cycle. It's simple, fish waste and uneaten food create toxic ammonia. In a healthy, cycled tank, beneficial bacteria eat the ammonia and turn it into nitrite, which is also toxic. Then a second type of bacteria eats the nitrite and turns it into the much less harmful nitrate, which you remove with water changes. An ammonia spike happens when this cycle breaks. Common causes are new tank syndrome, adding fish before the bacteria colonies have grown, a filter crash, where your beneficial bacteria eye off from a power out a jaw cleaning with chlorinated tap water, or simply overstocking or overfeeding, which overwhelms the bacteria. In my case, I suspect it was a mini cycle crash from lazy maintenance combined with some overfeeding. Recovery was slow. I did 25% water changes daily for a week, redosing with a detoxifier each time and testing the water morning and night. I fed them almost nothing. I watched the ammonia drop, then saw the night bright rise and fall, which meant the cycle was recovering. After about five days, the gasping stopped. The red on their gills faded. They started swimming normally again. They had made it. This ordeal hammered home the most important rules of fish keeping. First, always cycle your tank before adding fish. It's the foundation of a healthy aquarium. Second, test your water weekly. Clear water isn't always safe water. A liquid test kit lets you see the invisible. Third, do consistent partial water changes and when you clean your filter, only use old tank water to protect your beneficial bacteria. Finally, don't overstock your tank or overfeed your fish. Only feed what they can. Eat in about two minutes. It's been a month and my tank is peaceful again. My goldfish are back to their bright, curious selves. They survived because I caught the signs and acted immediately. Ammonia poisoning is one of the biggest killers of aquarium fish, but the good news is it's almost entirely preventable. Remember the emergency steps, a massive water change, a detoxifying conditioner, and more air. And remember the keys to prevention, 
cycle your tank, test your water, and be consistent with maintenance. Your fish are completely dependent on you. Their fragile world is in your hands. Don't let a silent killer take them from you. Thanks for watching. If this helped, please like and subscribe. Have you ever battled an ammonia spike? Share your story in the comments. Your experience could save someone else's fish.